Hey, what's up, guys? How we doing? So we continue looking at players in the 2013 MLB draft. Um, we're going to move on to pitchers. We've done a lot of position players so far. And now we're going to work um, and look at a couple of the top pitchers taken in the draft. We're going to look at the number one overall pick, the number three overall pick, and the number four overall pick. First pick was Mark Appel out of Stanford. You guys have probably been hearing about him for a while. Last year um, was probably going to be the number one overall pick. Uh, sound ability issues, I think, kind of stopped that from happening. He dropped a couple picks in the draft, ended up going back to Stanford for his senior year, got his degree, um, put together an even better year than last year, and became the first overall pick this year to the Houston Astros. We'll kind of play this and look at him. We're also going to look at Jonathan Gray, a, another big right-handed pitcher from University of Oklahoma was the third overall pick. And then we're going to look at Cole Stewart, a high school player, fourth overall pick to the Twins um, from Texas. And so let's talk a little bit about them. What we noticed from, or what, at least what I've noticed from top pitchers being selected in the draft. Um, so the first thing you're going to notice, you know, a lot of times when you're looking at guys that go this high, one, two, three, four, five, anywhere, first round, you're going to hear a lot of people talk about size and stuff. That seems to be the big thing that you'll always hear. He's got the size and the stuff to be a number one starter. Um, and all these guys have size and stuff. So Appel, Gray, they're both 6'4". Uh, Appel's probably, you know, maybe around 200 pounds. Um, Gray is about 240, 245. Um, so obviously great size. And then Cole Stewart, who you're seeing right here, throw a little bit. Um, he's listed at about 6'3", but again, he's a high school player, so he could grow even more. Um, so they all have the size part of the equation, and you're going to see that a lot with older pitchers, or excuse me, higher draft pitchers, um, just because you know, when usually if you're getting drafted this high, you're projected to be a starter, and um, teams like guys that are a little bit bigger, I think that they'll, durability-wise, they'll... Um, Probably last a little bit longer. You know, an example of this would be Tim Lincecum back in his draft year. Probably had the stuff to go number one overall. Probably didn't have the size. A lot of people questioned his size, wondered if, you know, the workload of a big league year um, was going to be too much for his body to to be able to stand. And obviously, he's proved a lot of those people wrong. But it's just the way it is. Um, size does play <laughs> a part in being a draft pick or a high draft pick. And then the stuff part of it. So. What you're going to see from, from high pitchers, these three guys going one, two, and four in the draft is, um, you know, if you're going that high, typically you're going to be a starter. So they're projecting you to be a starter. And a lot of, a lot of times, if you're that high, you're projected to be a one or a two starter. And because of that, um, not only are these guys, all three of these guys, power pitchers, they all throw hard, Appel's you know, mid-90s, Gray. Uh, consistently in the mid 90s and can touch the upper 90s to even 100. I watched him pitch actually today and he had 100 miles an hour while I was watching. Um, and then Cole Stewart is the same thing. He's a mid 90s fastball guy. So they all throw really, really hard power stuff, power arms. It's typically what you're going to see at the top of the draft. But even more than that, what you're going to see is three pitch guys. So these guys are all that all project out to be starters at the major league level. So Actually, all three of them all feature fastball, slider, changeup. Um, so that's a big thing. If, if you want to be a starter at the major league level or a professional level, it's important to have three pitches. If you only have two, and, and some of these guys, you know, I watch great pitch, and he features mostly fastball, slider, and he gets a lot of college kids out with fastball, slider. There's 100 miles an hour right there. Um, but he also has a changeup, and you know, if you have only two pitches, typically it's you're you're probably going to be relegated to the bullpen, or at least you're going to have to try to develop that third pitch to get guys out on both sides of the plate, righties and lefties. All three of these guys feature three pitches, which is huge um, to be a starter at the level that you know the, at, at the big league level. So that's another really really big thing. Uh, the third thing that I noticed from watching these guys is they're all going to attack the zone. So they all have power stuff, but they pitch the contact. They're not afraid to throw the ball over the plate. Um, and, you know, I guess it's a little bit easier when you have this type of stuff, but they all have very good command of at least two of their pitches. Appel has pretty good command of all three. Um, 
So it's important to, not only do you need the size, you need the stop, but you need the command of at least two of them. And, um, you know, Stuart probably has, is not as refined as Appel. I'd say Appel's probably the most refined of all. That's probably why he's going number one. Um, and, and Gray is kind of, you know, I wouldn't say a one-year wonder, but Appel's done this for a long time. He had a great year last year, a great year this year. Gray's kind of come out of, not nowhere, but I don't know if anyone would have predicted he'd be the number two overall pick entering this season. So those two guys, or excuse me, Appel has done it for a longer period of time. And he's probably a little bit more refined of a pitcher. And then you have Cole Stewart, the number three guy, out of these guys going number four overall to the Twins. High school guy, you don't expect a high school guy to be um, as refined as these, these older pitchers. So he's considered a little bit more raw. Um, I've seen people say that he's more of a thrower than a pitcher. And, you know, watching his mechanics... He does look a little bit like a guy that's probably more of a thrower than a pitcher, but he's younger and he's he's going to develop now. Uh, and also, the big thing with Stewart is he's an athlete. So, for all you guys that out there that just kind of want to play one sport, Stewart had a scholarship to go to Texas A&M to play quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks in the country, and obviously one of the best pitchers in the country. So, athleticism is huge when it comes to to pitching. When it comes to anything, when it comes to any part of baseball, and scouts like athletes, and coaches like athletes, managers like athletes, because if you're an athlete, you'll pick up on things quicker than a non-athlete, and um, that is one thing that they're looking for is guys that are athletic. So those are the big three things, or however many I named with these guys. Um, as far as mechanics go, we're not going to take all day and looking at everyone's mechanics, but one thing I like um, with most of, most of these guys is they're aggressive, they're explosive. Appel probably has the slowest um, windup of everyone. Cole Stewart's really explosive. Um, and he's probably a little bit more athletic than the other two, but you know they're not messing around, taking forever, sitting on top of the rubber, but they're getting down the mound, down the rubber, explosively towards the plate, which which I really, really like. And, you know, I say a lot, if you want to throw the ball hard, these guys all throw the ball hard. You can't, th you can't throw the ball hard um, without the intention of throwing the ball hard. So if you want to throw hard, you got to try to throw hard. That's the way it usually is. You can't just, you know, go through the motions and think that you're going to be able to translate a non-explosive delivery into all of a sudden an explosive fastball. These guys all have the intent of throwing the ball hard, throwing the ball through the catcher. And, and they do. And it helps that they're big and strong and athletic and have, you know, really efficient mechanics. But if you want to throw hard, you got to try to throw hard. So those are the big things. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. You know, obviously we could, we could dissect these guys all day long, but um, I just wanted to shoot out a quick few things there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about these, about these three guys. Um, also, like the video, subscribe to the channel share with all your friends, um, all that good stuff, and we'll talk to you later.